Hi everybody, this is Tracy Malone from NarcissistAbuseSupport.com. Today I want to talk to you about something that's come up at least twice this week, and I haven't really heard it that often, but it really does make sense. If you are divorcing a narcissist, you've got to produce legal documentation, all of the financial paperwork, and you have to give that to the court system. What I found out this week from two different people I was speaking with is that one of them's husband um, created false documentation. So say a Citibank statement, you have a credit card and the Citibank statement um, comes in and it gets filed as that um, actual real Citibank statement. And you have to come up with, depending on your state, you know, a year, two years, and up to five years in some states of, of records. So it's really a lot of work to fake um, Citibank statements for that many years. But her husband created, like in Photoshop, a whole fake statement. And, you know, how do you combat that was her question. What do you do? You know that's not right. You know that there's things that are missing off of that statement. So it, it seemingly isn't real, right? What do you do about that? You follow the paper trail. Not that fake paper trail, but if you know that something was on that Citibank statement, if you're on the Citibank card, and I'm using that as an example, but um, if you're on that credit card and you can get real statements, ooh, go ahead and, and get those and, and show the judge that they've created fake ones. That's falsifying evidence. That is a, a pretty big charge against them, but you have to prove it. This isn't easy, especially if you aren't on that card, but they're telling you that they, you know, they had to put their rent on and they're, you know, the pity party of what they have to use with that money. So if you know there's something that's on there that isn't showing up, that's where you come up with the proof and the evidence. Maybe you have um, old Citibank statements sitting in your um, file cabinet, go get them and compare them and then bring the real ones and even have your lawyer maybe subpoena them, depending on your state, may or may not be legal, but you might be able to subpoena the real statements from the particular bank that they are falsifying records for. The other weird thing that I had happen was a friend of mine has been thinking about, you know, filing for divorce for a very long time and her hold up was that she was the one that had the money and she knew that he was gonna take her to the cleaners. So she actually started to see a lawyer and when she did, um, she came back and told me, I, you know, I've hired a lawyer, yay. You know, it just takes time once you actually talk to a lawyer to start the ball rolling. So before she knew it, and it was only within a week of that, her husband filed a, a, you know, filed for divorce on her. And this was such a surprise to her. So she gets the paperwork and she takes it to the new lawyer that she has and said, uh-oh, he filed on us, what do we do now? So her lawyer looked up the file case number. I mean, this looked so real. It had everything like as if it was an actual form from the court system. It was fake. He actually manufactured a fake, and, and with help of a you know, lawyer, remember they're hiring shark dirt bags, um, and with the help of a lawyer, the whole thing was, you know, basically we filed upon you, but you can save money and start to work with us too. If we can get you guys on the same plate, you know, you won't have any um, financial responsibility here. So think about that. Wait, all it was was this fake file to get her off of the guard and get her to go to his lawyer, have no legal representation. It was a con. It was a terrible, terrible trick. So I've never heard of this before. So I'm not saying check your you know case number, but definitely make sure this stuff is legitimate. Do not, do not, do not, do not try to do this without a lawyer, especially when they're saying, oh, use ours, we'll take care of you, don't worry. Ugh, ugh, 
I almost wanted to barf in my mouth when I was hearing the things he was saying. So it was just a quick video. Visit my website, NarcissistAbuseSupport.com. And thanks for being here. Have a great day and let's make it a narc-free day. Peace out.